here is my 3D printed trumpet. Um, it doesn't sound very good, but here's a video of me playing it anyway. I'll also play a normal trumpet so you can compare the sound. I guess I'll take it apart real quick here. Um, I'm currently using two rubber bands to kind of brace these two pieces. I was going to uh, make plastic ones, but the rubber bands seem to be holding up. So um, there's 17 different pieces in this. Um, most of them just uh, kind of fit together. It's kind of tight. Um, some of them I welded together using acetone since I printed it out of ABS plastic. And most of these uh, pieces took between three hours to six hours to print. Uh, this main yellow piece here took, I think, around 17 hours just because it's much more complex. So this is the tuning slide. It also doesn't do a whole lot to tune the trumpet since it's so far out of tune to begin with. But it is there. Um, on a normal trumpet, uh, generally this third valve slide will move back and forth so you can tune, uh, keep the trumpet more in tune, but I've Figured the best way would just be to weld it and forget about that. Um, same with this first valve slide. Um, attached to the main piece here uh, are, I think, six pieces. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, these two happen to be the same. This one on the end, but I just made use of it twice. The bell comes apart in two places. This is 23 centimeters long, I think, so some printers may not be able to print it. Um, same goes for this piece here. Let's get the rubber band off of it. There it is. So yeah, those pieces are kind of long, but uh, my printer, I use a Mendel Max 2.0, and I think that's about the height limit right there. And take this last piece off. Okay, so this is, um, all these parts are welded together aside from the valves. But, yeah, I guess it was just easier to do it that way. Um, I'm holding this top cap in here with two rubber bands. When I designed it, I had tried to make it snap in here, but these uh, pegs aren't strong enough and they broke, so I just figured I'd do it with rubber bands. But um, this holds the valves down to the right distance. Each of the valves are different. Um, different hole patterns. This one's kind of sticky, but I lubricated them with Vaseline. 
just because that regular valve oil doesn't seem to work very well with the plastic. And I just went and bought some three pretty generic springs and cut them to the right length. And they just kind of sit in there and push the valves up. And that's essentially it.